Hi guys, I'm Jen Johns. Welcome back to the show. I'm going to be showing you today how to make a Finding Dory cake. Now you guys have requested this cake over and over and over. Thank you so much for that request. Now what I have managed to come up with you for you today is a Dory inside a Jello Aquarium sitting on top of an ocean themed cake. I hope you guys are ready for this tutorial. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. To make the cake, we're going to be using a 12 inch round prepared cake. It can be any flavor that you want to. Now we're going to be putting Dory and Nemo into a jelly bowl. So you need to have those toys. If you put other things that aren't the toys, um, they do risk the part of kind of like dissolving in the jelly. So just beware. We're also going to be using three different colors of a buttercream. We've got a light blue, a white, and a kind of a medium color blue. And we've got some airheads to make some coral and some other like little features for under the ocean. I've got some sour punch sticks in a bunch of different colors. Then like I was mentioning, we're going to be making a, the jello bowl. So we're going to be using some blue jello and a, some clear jello as well. And we're going to need different colors of like bright candies. We've got some of these like tubular ones with like the little insides there. And then I've got some colored jelly beans. I've got some little, um, these are cupcake toppers and I'm just going to put them into the jelly bowl with Nemo and Dory. And then here I have some chocolate seashells and then some candied like sea life that I found at a local cake store. So what I have here is an eight inch round like fish bowl. You can get them at flower pot, flower stores or you can also get them on online. I got them this one on Amazon and it's an eight inch round bowl. But you could use any size you want or you could use an actual fish bowl. In the bottom I have the blue jello that I showed you in the beginning prepared and I've just got it cut up and prepared and sitting in the bottom with some clear gelatin on top of it. The clear gelatin is from my raindrop cake recipe and I will put that link in the description box for you. So what you do is you just put your, you want to have this bottom layer kind of solid and then you can put your little guys into the bottom here. If you want to add these extra little figurines, you can. And just put them into, oops, throwing him around. Just put them into the cake there. Sorry, Dory. And then what you do is you take some of this clear gelatin and you want to layer it. Slowly mm -hmm. you want to put it in layer by layer. So put some in there, and if they start to move, you want to stop. So see how Dory stopped, flipped over there? So you want to stop at this point. Make sure you push her back in and set her up, and then put her into the fridge to let this layer um, solidify before you put any more jello on the top. So just keep layering the clear and putting it into the fridge until you've got a nice full fish bowl. So what we're going to do now that the, the jello bowl is setting, we're going to just carve out little wave sections here. So I'm just kind of taking out almost like a triangle. I'm going to leave that center part there. I want to leave enough room for the actual bowl to be sitting. So don't carve too far into the center. And I'm just taking out small little divots here, pressing down on each side like that. And this is going to give it kind of like a wave effect here on the edges. So I'm just going to go around the cake and carving out these little edges. With the wave areas um, carved out, we're going to take the light blue buttercream. And I'm just going to use a piping bag for ease of covering it. And I'm going to cover the entire thing here with the blue buttercream and spread it all around. The parts on the sides where you're going to find that there might be a little bit like more crumbs and especially where we have removed the ice, like removed that layer of that almost like, not that the cake crust, but that layer where there it's in the oven and you can get gets the air on it and it browns. You are going to find that that area is going to be extra crummy, but we're going to be covering it with lots of stuff. So don't be too concerned and you can always just apply a crumb coat and then go back over top of it with a second coat if you need to. Once you've got the entire cake covered in the blue, we're going to switch to the darker blue. Now at the end of the bag, I've just cut off like on an angle. You can use a 104 tip or a 125 if you want to. But what I found without, with not using the tip is it makes it a little bit more bulbous, I'll say, like more like poofy as you can see here. So I'm just going to go and follow that shape that we carved out. So down and then up and around. And I'm just going to keep going around the cake and I'm going to make a whole bunch of different layers like this. So I don't want it to be smooth and I don't want these next two layers like 
this part underneath, I don't want it to blend in. So I'm just going to go like this and then just keep tracing underneath until I finish and fill up this entire area below the actual top of the cake. So basically we're filling in the sides now. Now we're going to take our white buttercream and at the top of the mound of cake where that we left nice and high, I'm just going to add some of that white buttercream. Now you'll recognize this technique because I used it in the treasure chest, buried treasure cake that I made recently. I'll put a link to that in the description box if you want. So I'm just using a paintbrush to blend the white in here just to give it that effect that when the waves are cresting, you've got that little bit of white wash on the top there. So I'm just going to go around and do that at the top of each of these little waves. Now we're going to make a couple different kinds of reefs here. So what I've got here, sorry, some coral, parts of a coral reef. So what we're going to do here is I've just rolled out some pink gum paste. I've also done some white and I'm just taking the bottom of a tip and I'm just cutting out some of the chunks of it to give it that look as if it's that holy kind of thing. So I'm just going around like this. And then I've got a smaller tip here as well. Actually, I wanna take that top part off there, at the top there. And then I've also got a smaller tip here and I'm just going to clean that out there and pull that out, make these little ones there. So what you can do is just pick it out with a little fondant tool. You could use a toothpick or a scribe and then just kind of clean the hole up a bit using, using the back of the tool. You can also use the top of the tool to clean it off. Once you've got those edges nice and clean and the little Anything that's a little excess, you can just clean off too with your finger. Just poke through there, kind of roll that around inside, help clean it up. And then over here, I've got some straws set up. And what you can do in order to shape your gum paste um, coral is to put it over top of the straw like that and let it harden like that. The other type of coral, we're kind of just like plant life that we'll see under, that we would see in the ocean. I'm taking one of these long sour straws here and I'm just going to kind of bend it a couple of ways like this and I'm going to keep it pinched at the bottom and then that one part up there that is doubled over I'm just going to take a knife and just cut that off like that. Keep it pinched together and then you can spread it out and then it'll go right onto the cake just like that. So I'll do that with a couple other of the colors and cut out some more coral. So what we're going to do now is I've cut a straw to put down in there and I've measured three more out to match the exact same height. This is because the fish bowl is going to be quite heavy so we want to have support here in the center for our cake. So I'm putting these cake, these straws in. You could also use dowels. And then just gonna put like a little blob of buttercream over top of them, and one in the center to help the little board stick to it. This is a four inch round bo board, isn't it the cutest thing that you've seen? and it's just gonna sit there and then the cake's gonna sit on, or the bowl's gonna sit on that and it's gonna be nice and balanced and it will distribute the weight throughout the board there. So now what I'm going to do is take each of my individual pieces. So I'm just going to put on, um, hmm, how am I gonna put it out? Like probably like that, put on this piece of coral into there and then I'm going to add the other elements to it in front of the coral like this. And I just wanna build up really like unique and kind of pretty and colorful like we would see in actual sea life here. So we've got lots of different colors coming in here. And we've got a nice starfish as well. These are really cool if you can find them. Found them at a local cake specialty store. And we can also put some like little rocks down too as our little gummy bears down here. Or sorry, um, jelly beans like that. So I'm gonna go around and decorate the top and I will also do the sides, but I wanna show you that too. Once you've got the top done, we can work on the sides. So I've got some coral put there together with some of that, those sour belts sticking through. I'm gonna put some little rocks down at the bottom here. And so you can make this like as busy as you want to, or you can keep it simple. If you manage to find some of the really cool little extra little sugar pieces, they really do make the cake. You can of course also make those if you want to. So I'm just going to go all the way around the outside here, doing the under, doing kind of like what we would say is the under the sea part here and then putting in lots of color because I want this to be nice and bright and colorful. The last thing that I need to do is to add in my bowl full of jelly with my, my little kind of like an aquarium on top. I'm gonna add that on top and it should sit right on perfectly if I have measured properly. So let's hope that I have measured that up properly. 
and your support will be enough right up on top there. So I will do that next and then come back to show you the finished product. So there you go everybody, how to make this Finding Dory cake. This bowl is quite heavy, so you want to make sure that you've supported the cake underneath here, underneath the board. So make sure that you have done that, I can't stress that enough. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed the movie as well. I haven't had a chance to see it yet, but I'm really hoping to get to. Thanks so much for watching, see you guys next time.